I've been cutting, uh, stick, sticking together. I've been sticking together the Maria top, and the Maria top is a free top, and it is by oh, no, sorry, it's not the Maria. The the lady who makes it is called Maria Denmark, and it's a one on one Kirsten kimono tee. And she, this pattern is free, so I've been sticking it together. It's actually very like that Zoe pattern that I uh, that I told you about on my uh, pattern haul that I have. At the end, I've got this little cat sitting on the end of the table on top of all my pattern pieces. And behind, you might just see those are the blooming awful filing cabinet drawers that I've that he's taken out. And there's a little black cat sitting there. She was in the in my um, she shed with me, but now I've come out. She's just gone and sat on the old broken down bench that we want to get rid of. All those things down there we want rid of, and uh, unfortunately they won't be removed. I showed you, but the it's www.mariadenmark.com. Moved until the refuse collections. Oh, until the refuse centre is opened again, and that will not be until lockdown has opened so i want him to put that that lot there that lot there back into that shed there that shed number two that's what we call a little shed there oh and the little sign on the side was the sign my father made it and it's a little sign uh, it used to be on his door to his shop and when we closed his shop down uh, i said right i want to take that with me so I've taken that with me and um, uh, it's just basically a little memento of my father. The bit in the middle, he actually made it, I think I've already said that, and the, it's his initials, J.D. Jacques Dussard. And you see, I, although I'm married to a Mr. Waddington, my name is Micheline Dussard because I don't want to change my name. I think it sounds nicer than Micheline Waddington. And he didn't mind because he said he wouldn't mind if I do that. And I said, well, I can always pretend that I'm your mistress when we go to hotels. <laughs> Not that we're going to any hotels for a good long time. There's going to be quite a while. These are just cheap fabric flowers that I've got here on the windowsill. Uh, I, actually, that poinsettia is, is uh, from Christmas. We have a, I usually put out a Christmas display and somehow or other that one got overlooked. And so uh, I just stuck it in there. Um, and over here are these are I absolutely love these plants. They don't look too much at the moment, but once the once the uh, sp once they start sp uh, filling out, let's say, they will start to look really nice and they'll turn out really different colours. Um, I've got them in my cereal bowls and things, my cornflakes bowl. This one. Let's tell you what they are. This one, they're all heucheras. And this is heucherella buttered rum. And the buttered rum, I think it should, it, it should go, it goes very orangey if I remember rightly. This one is heuchera northern exposure red. Ah, it tells you here what it says. Let me just show you. This says... Beautiful rich coppery caramel dipped maple shaped foliage with rosy red tones in winter. Massive spires of foamy white flowers all season. And I got them from heucheraholics.co.uk. This one is Northern Exposure. It's more of a reddy colour. And this says a rich deep red tough foliage on a compact and strong plant giving colour all year. Lovely in a front border as a, or as a container plant for all season. It makes pink flowers. What a funny noise you're making. You snoring. This one is, this is more of a, a reddy orange. Um, I watered them the other day, but they need watering again. They're getting very limp again. Heuchera Rio, beautiful rich orange foliage with a slight white veil. Short fat ones of white flowers, lovely for containers or borders. And then the last one, which is a deep winy red colour, is Heuchera Ferrera Purple, stunning deep glossy fluted purple foliage 
with oh with charcoal veining lovely all year with short spikes pink flowers in the summer fabulous in a sunny border or containers these were just watered the other day i think i need to water them again so i'll better get that done now his lordship has been making a, a slow cooker casserole and he's been using up all the vegetables that we've got left that are just about to start going off and four sausages we had two uh, pork and pork sausages and two vegetarian ones so we're using them up to make a bit of room and so this is what he's made and it smells gorgeous he's put herbs in um, herbs carrots shallots and it smells the smell is born there's a lot of wine in there a lot of red wine it smells absolutely gorgeous this is the bird uh, pattern paper that i got i got four packs somebody on ebay was selling if you bought more than one or two it was reduced in price so i bought i was going to get two and then i thought oh i'll get four and you get five sheets and they're big sheets they're 150 centimeters by 110 so i've decided i've got quite a few patterns here you see how this is the paper that i've had comes this is a cashmere fuller cardigan it, it really folds up quite thick whereas if i use this paper it will fold up quite thinly so i might trace these off and then i've got thinner paper I will still keep those, but at least I can put these into those little packets and have an easier, an easier, uh, uh, what would you call it, an easier filing system for these. And I'll just put those away somewhere into a box. I'll direct you to this lady who's called Spencer Og. Well, she's not called Spencer Og. That's the name of her brand, Spencer Og. And she basically has a Facebook. She makes patterns. She makes bag patterns, but she's also offering free YouTube tutorials and free patterns. Uh, she's doing it in trying to get us to distract ourselves from what the situation that we're in. And basically, uh, I'm a member of her Spencer Og Bag Sewing Group on Facebook. Um, you can either go there or you can go straight to her YouTube, which is Sew a Volunteer Pack, and her name is... If I go down a bit, Spencer Og, and she says, sew it from something you have in your fabric stash quickly to gift gift to volunteers or key workers, or you can make it for someone that you, that you know. It's a beginner bag. It's not lined, and she talks all the way through and explains how to how to go how to put it together. She does some really nice bags, and this one over in the corner here, she has a free one there. That you can actually download as well these bags that one and that one they're meant not to be lined and she, she does a youtube video of that one as well so if i go to here which is so a volunteer pack uh, she tells you all about it and um she's showing you the video the bags that she has you can get the straps and things from her if you wanted to so she is getting a little bit of money if you want to buy the straps from her but you know um or you can do your own straps like that and um, if, if I go fairly down, quick and easy so suitable for beginners a top zip fastener and then you've got your straps it can hold your phone she says it can hold your masks your phones and um, anything else um, that you want to put in and basically it's three rectangles of fabric two zip tabs and one strip for four inches by 53 for the um for the cross body strap uh and basically so she's telling you what you need up there she tells you what the material that you need so you can prep that yourself from any scraps that you have and then you go to her video to watch her make it and it's part of a 30 minute makes that she does and it's re i haven't downloaded this yet but she also tells you to join her Facebook sewing board and share your volunteer pack photos once you've made them. Um, another one, as I say, let's see if I can find her free patterns. I'm not sure if they're up here. Patterns. Uh, she has... Uh, she does packing bags for when you're going uh, on your trips 
the um, in the PDF tutorial PDF patterns when you're going abroad uh, she does that and then she does let's see if the prices are below where where are the free ones go to number two uh, there's actually three things that she does that are free so let me just find out where they are um, she does flip watch uh, wallet I've done that one that's quite a good one and I think it's nice because your phone can go in there um, she does shoulder bags crossbody bags men's messenger bags a lot of men like to use a messenger bag my son does uh, the Worsley wallet which I've made as well and uh, a little crossbody day bag just uh, with an anti-theft purse and um, Kindle cover, mini iPad case and then go to the last page see if I can find what's on here uh, PDF notebook cover and phone pouch and a notebook cover now that wasn't where are the free ones let's see if I can find where the free ones are for free see if that shows anything groovy cases free sewing pattern that's a glasses pattern free coin coin purse this is the one that I'm talking about a free cosmetic pod and uh, the glitzy gift card wallet a cool clutch groovy glasses case these are all free and um, now there's another one are these all free here let's have a look see if they're all free the doorstep care pod this is another one she's made and it's based she just released this recently and this one is, if I can get it to come up, it's a pod like this that you make. And it's for people to put their, put outside their door, uh, for, for to put have the food put in. Anyone who's um, who is isolated because they've got the coronavirus, uh, then it's a doorstep pod. But it's also very useful for other things. Um, so well worth looking at Spencer Rogg's pa Facebook page. It is spencerog.com. This one is Saw Doorstep Dash Care Pod. And uh, then if I go back again, what's the other one she's got that are free? Mr. Domestic's Playroom Party. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but she will tell you and I will let you enjoy and printed PDFs how to resize. New to me interfacing product and plastic snaps and she goes on telling you other things about uh, basically free free tuition so that is well worth looking at the spencer rog and as i say she's got some really nice uh, free patterns out especially for this for the situation at the moment so well worth looking at her at, at her her website and her page As you do, you sit in a box, don't you? You just sit in a box because it's good fun. Is it fun? Is it fun sitting in a box? Hey, are you enjoying that? Oh, you even spend your time cleaning as well. Watching the world go by. Aren't you? Are you watching the world go by? Yes, you are, aren't you? So this is, what is it, sausage casserole? This is a sausage and root vegetable Do casserole. Do you notice the hair's, the beard's getting longer, the hair's getting messy. Um, and it's a sausage and root casserole. Basically, it was all the veg that was going off. <laughs> <laughs> Suitably peeled, of course. Uh, all the veg going off. Uh, we had some sausages left over. Uh, we had a couple of vegetarian sausages in the freezer, so I've used those as well. And basically, I throw them into a pot with some uh, vegetable stock, uh, 
about half a pint of red wine. <laughs> We're going to be sussled. Uh, yeah. Half a pint of red wine, some tomato, uh, tin tomatoes, um, and then just a load of spices and um, stuff you like that. You had marjoram in there as well, didn't you? Um, yeah. No, was it um, rosemary? No, I've got rosemary, rosemary. rosemary and thyme. Um, Garlic. Uh, no garlic because we didn't have any garlic. Oh, but we're getting some tomorrow, aren't but, we? Uh, uh, so Fingers some, crossed. So I'll put some truffle oil in instead. Did you? Just to give it a bit of a twang. <laughs> so this is um, sausage and root vegetable casserole with truffles. With truffles. <laughs> Where did you get the recipe from? Or did you make it up? Well, I, I used a, a recipe, a guide recipe for a casserole. Mm -hmm. But then I just modified it. <laughs> Um, well, and came out with this so we'll see what it's like won't we? excellent well it smells lovely anyway I'm looking forward to having it well we'll, we'll leave you because we're going to have our evening meal our tea our tea, tea.